Hello students, this is the third lecture on Chapter 1, Introduction to Clinical Pharmacology, and this is about the prescription and its parts. When writing prescriptions, all parts of the prescription must be filled out. The different parts of the prescription are the heading, which includes the prescriber's name, address, and phone number, the patient's name, address, and age or date of birth, and the date that the prescription was written. The body of the prescription includes the symbol RX, which is followed by the drug name and the strength in metric units. The metric unit examples are liter, gram, milligram, etc. Then underneath the RX, it will state DISP number. And after that, it is followed by the quantity of tablets, capsules, etc. that are to be dispensed. Underneath that is the symbol SIG, followed by the dosage and complete directions for use. The closing includes the prescriber's DEA number, the signature of the prescriber, and refill information. It can also include additional labeling instructions for the bottle or box, and it can say either DAW for dispense as written or substitution permitted. What is the best way to avoid prescription errors? Write clearly in ink. You need to know the accepted Latin abbreviations. Written on a prescription, you see SIG, 1, QID, PC, and HS. What this translates to mean Take one four times a day after meals and at bedtime. Don't abbreviate English words, but do know the accepted Latin abbreviations. This table shows the common Latin abbreviations, and I have put arrows next to the most common abbreviations that we use. BID stands for bis in DA which means twice a day. CAP is short for capsule. PRN means pro renata, which is as needed. QID, quarter in DA, which means four times a day. STAT is short for statum, which means immediately or at once. SIG stands for signatura, which means written on label. TID stands for tre in die, which means three times a day. PO means per os, or by mouth, orally. RX stands for take thou a recipe, or prescription. TAB is short for tablet. And milliliter is abbreviated with a small m and a capital L. As you see in this sample prescription, the heading contains the prescriber's name, address, and phone number, the patient's name, address, and age, the date that the prescription was written. Also notice that in this example, the DEA and license number are in the heading. Usually they can be either in the heading or the closing. In this example of the body, you see RX stamped or pre-printed on the form, followed by the drug name and strength in metric units or milligrams. Then it says DISP and the number of tablets. In this example, it's 21 tabs. Underneath that, it says SIG followed by the dosage and complete directions for use, as well as the reason for the prescription. 
it says for dental infection. That is what the drug is intended to treat in this patient. In the closing, you see the signature of the prescriber, refill information, which it says refill zero times. The closing would also include any additional labeling instructions for the box or bottle. And it would also say DAW or substitution permitted. You can see that in this sample, there's a box that was initialed and it says dispense as written below it. The prescriber's DEA number is included in the heading in this example rather than the closing. That can be done in either location. This is a prescription for a compounding pharmacy and the units are in the apothecary measure of weights. However, the heading, body, and closing still contain the per pertinent information we discussed before. This concludes this section on prescription writing.